Yeah, we used to, we dropped a lot of leaflets before we pushed the uh, Germans out of North Africa. And we hated dropping them because we're, here we are dropping paper on them and they're trying to shoot us out of the sky. And a friend of mine got hit on one of those leaflet drops because we had to come in kind of low too. We were at 7,000. We didn't like to get lower than 7,000 feet because the uh, small flak couldn't get up that high. And uh, But anyway, he, uh, he got hit badly, he told everybody to bail out. And, and as soon as he knew everybody was out, he he had to get out, but he the plane was so hard to control, and he was going down so fast, he knew he couldn't get out because you had on a B-25 you got to crawl out the bottom. Well, he knew he couldn't get out, so he pulled the uh, uh, hatch on the canopy over over his head, and and went on out that way. You never want like to think about going out there because you got radio antenna up there and stuff. And but anyway, he got out. He remembers reaching down with his hand to grab the handle, and he remembers pulling it. But he looked; nothing happened. He looked down, and his arm had been cut off. Uh, and you know, he had done all of this with a, without an arm. And so he put his thumb in and pulled the thing. And by the time his parachute cracked open. He was so close to the ground that just as his parachute cracked open and dropped and broke his fall a little bit, his legs hit the ground, broke his legs, oh, both his thighs and, and his lower legs. But he was fortunate that he he landed in a whole bunch of Germans and there was a German uh, medic group there with an ambulance. They saw him land, they went over, they put a tourniquet on his arm, stopped the blood which was squirting out of his arm, and he was knocked out, of course. They put him in a stretcher, took him to Tunis to a, a, a hospital there, and the German doctors there put his legs all back together, put put his legs in cast, and the in a couple of days after that, the war there was over. They had surrendered. And some of my friends took took a trip into Tampa and were just looking around and they saw this hospital and said, let's go see if there's anybody we know in there. And they parked their Jeep, Jeep and, and like you have to, had to do any time you used a Jeep anywhere and left it alone, why well, you, you take you took the rotor out of the thing and a lot of the wires out of there and stuck them in your pocket. Well, anyway, they went into the hospital, looked around, and here was this guy propped up in a bed with his legs in casts and some cables going from the, from his feet over uh, over some pulleys with some weights on the end of it, and he was in pretty good spirits, and that's how we know what happened to him. But we never heard what happened to him after that. But Anyway, that was an amazing story. And that was dropping leaflets? Yeah. And when you dropped leaflets, did you drop bombs with those? Oh, no? no, no. We just had these big packets of these leaflets that uh, said, uh, if, you, if you take this, this leaflet to any Allied soldier, uh, he'll take you prisoner and you you'll be able to get back to your family after the war is over. And, but we really didn't like dropping those leaflets. But they took 250,000 prisoners at, at the end of that part of the war in uh, North Africa, so I don't, I'm sure it wasn't because of the leaflets because they had nowhere to go anywhere. But maybe a lot of them, you know, maybe it slowed up. The, maybe more people didn't get killed. So did that affect morale at all? I mean, you said you didn't care too much for something like that. Uh, obviously, when you're on a mission, when you're dropping paper and someone gets <laughs> shot down, I mean, that's yeah, upsetting. Yeah, it is upsetting. Well, I don't know that it's more upsetting then than any other time, but... 
whatever they told us to do, we did. And but we just we just resented having to do that. Not that we did anything about it, but uh, uh, we preferred, you know, if we were going to fly out there and get shot at, we wanted to be shooting at them too. <laughs>